people that are candidates for this are patients with severe headaches that have been through other courses of treatment and they're just not responding or they're not responding that well to uh, high doses of, of medications. We treat a lot of different diag diagnostic categories and I want to emphasize that uh, patients shouldn't worry so much about whether their diagnosis works or not. They all do. In particular, what we're looking for here are patients with severe headaches, whether it's severe tension, migraine, uh, whatever. This can work on them also is the severity. The type of pain that we're talking about here typically are patients that have frequent headaches, number one, by frequent at least several times a week, and most often daily pain. And within that group, most often almost continuous pain. Uh, the severity of the pain is typically pain that will actually put them to bed. Uh, they cannot go to work. They're going to bed with it. They can't go to school. Oftentimes it's bad enough they're going to the emergency room for treatment. Certain types of headaches are described like a knife going in through the eye. And it'll escalate. And then it involves other symptoms, very commonly nausea and vomiting um, with it. A lot of people, either during or more commonly before a headache, will get what we call an aura. Uh, they may feel a certain way. They may have a certain weird smell. Often they'll see little flashing lights in front of their eyes, which heralds a headache coming on. These are all very real physiologic phenomena that's going on in the brain itself. So again, we're talking about a kind of a constellation of symptoms and a spectrum, but generally very severe, frequently cannot participate in normal activities, frequently to the emergency room, universally they have to go to bed, and it's to the point that the medications are not working. While we feel it's very safe and a relatively simple procedure, nonetheless it's still an interventional procedure. It's an implanted unit. So with that, if patients' headaches respond to more conservative traditional treatments such as medications, then there would not be no reason to consider this.